Okay, raise your hand if your parents bought you Flintstone vitamins as a kid. So yes, I'm dating myself here, but my parents bought Flintstone vitamins for my sister and I as kids. Um, and as I got older, I tried a lot of vitamins and supplements to help me with my health. But let's be realistic here. Supplements are not really going to help you too much. And the cure for, I think, most health is healthy eating, regular exercise, and plenty of sleep. So every once in a while, I will take a variety of supplements as needed. Things like vitamin C when I'm feeling under the weather, vitamin B and magnesium when I have a heavy workout, and even some vitamin D and potassium during winter times when the sun is not as high. But frankly, they're very hit or miss. But there is one supplement I take every day, and that is fish oil. Now, my journey to taking fish oil coincided with getting a little bit older and starting to work out more. What I found is that I was getting cramps in my, my joints, um, in my fingers and my toes, kind of like, you ever feel like you gotta like crack your fingers, but it just won't crack? Um, and so I started having this, and the kind of the pain wouldn't go away. Now, I just talk, chalked that up to getting older and to the workouts until I talked to a good friend of mine. And frankly, he had it worse than me to the point where he was going to doctors because of the pain in his joints, specifically in his fingers. And after going to his primary care physician and to a couple specialists, one of the doctors recommended fish oil supplements. And lo and behold, a couple weeks later, the pain in his fingers went away. So I thought, geez, let me go ahead and try this myself. And lo and behold, a couple weeks later, the pain and the stiffness in my joints started going away. Now, besides the health benefits, since it's supposed to raise your HDL levels, the omega-3 fatty acids have anti-inflammatory properties that seem to help with this joint stiffness and pain. And one, the one time I ran out of these and didn't have time to go get them, within a week, the stiffness started getting back in my joints. And so when I bought them within a few days, that stiffness, um, that kind of pain in my joints has started going away. Now, before you head out and start buying fish oil from just about anywhere, it's important to know what you're looking for. And in particular, you are looking for the EPA and DHA concentrations, as well as limited mercury content. Now, a lot of fish oils contain a large amount of fish oil, but very little of the essential omega-3 fatty acids you're looking for, specifically the EPA and DHA. Now, um, I used to use fish oil from Sam's Club and I'm using this one right now. Um, and actually the fish oil from Sam's Club is even better because it's about 60% of the total fish oil content is EPA and DHA. This one is 55 to 60%. Um, and so you want to be cautious and make sure you're getting fish oils that have a higher concentration of the EPA and DHA. Now I'll leave a link to one below that's a little bit more expensive, but it's close to 80% on the EPA in DHA level. Now, the one that really surprised me is the Costco fish oils, because I had originally bought those. And then when I looked at the actual EPA in DHA content, it was only about like 30 or 40%. It was quite low. So you're better off getting one that at least has 50% DHA and EHA content. So the question is, should you take fish oil pills? Well, I'll be honest, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dietitian, I'm not a healthcare practitioner, a naturopath, any of that. But what I have discovered is this is the one supplement that I take that seems to have an ongoing positive effect. Uh, when I had my last um, tri uh, cholesterol measured, my HDLs were quite high, I don't have any pain in my joints. Um, and it's something that I will continue to take. Would I recommend trying it out and see if it helps you? Yeah, I don't think it will hurt too much if you go ahead and try it out. So for additional reading, I'm gonna leave a few links below uh, to an article as well as uh, labdoor.com analysis of some various fish oils if you're curious for yourself. But let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Do you take fish oils? Have they been useful for you? What is your thought process on this? So that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, I hope you get a little bit of uh, 
education out of this. But until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.